morning folks let's talk it's just about 6 a.m. of course I gotta go to work today I'm just a regular working guy I'm just a normal human wants to be left alone trying to survive just like most of you guys most of my most of my channels I watch are just regular people you know, I used to get into some of the bigger channels, and they're just not, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I was overwhelmed with the responses to my little Rule King video. It's going on everywhere, guys. Everywhere. It's, uh... It's going to be rough, man. But I thought we'd start this morning out in the garden. Yeah, I know. It, it looks empty. It's not empty. That is our third planting of corn. There's the first one. We had to replant some of it. Two weeks later, we planted more corn. That all looks pretty good. Looks like almost all of it popped. Nice. And then this is our third planting of corn. About two, two and a half weeks later. But we're trying to not be overwhelmed and have to pick all the corn at the same time. It works out really well for us. And I did just hear from Appalachian Homestead that all of these all of these leaves down here that are touching the ground they gotta go I've never pruned tomatoes I've never trimmed I've never trimmed tomatoes we've had this garden eight years and I'm still learning Let's see our water system it's hooked up to everyone you just turn the main water on and then just flip these valves and I can water the garden we usually do two beds at a time. It works out real good. But yeah, guys, I appreciate the feedback. Um, you didn't have to subscribe. I'm glad you did. That's cool. You know, if you want to go back through my videos, I would suggest going to the playlist and hitting the one uh, I titled it. I think I titled it good ones you know I'm pretty opinionated on what's going on but I've been awake for a long time long time those flowers look at that isn't that gorgeous it's beautiful she's got different kinds growing too different kinds of tomatoes But yeah, you know, we're we're struggling, man. And one of my one of my one of you guys commented that it would be you know, how how do how do the employees feel about their situation, you know? Are they going to have job security? You know how long is it going to last? You remember I told you we're still learning. This is our eighth or ninth season with the garden. And if you look down here, I should have dug this trench, dug a hole, planted the potatoes. Then I could have put the high dirt up around the plant as it grew. Learn, learn something new every day, you know. Yeah, nice, got me a weed. Some of the corn popped, some of it didn't. We're still, I mean, we had to replant, but we're gonna have, we'll be okay. We'll be all right. Watermelons, pumpkins, peppers. It's already got a flower on it. Look at that. 
excellent. Excellent. I built this little cage. Real easy, guys. It's a PVC pipe with elbows. I glued screen to it. it keeps the cabbage moss off. And Brussels sprouts are looking good. You see, I got a little mole hole over there. Try to get catch me a mole. More peppers. And them onions. I don't know why we planted so many, but we'll have food. Very cool. Very cool. But I wanted to show you guys how I did my raised beds, man. Look. It's just regular wood staked in three by 24 squares. And then she marked on here how many feet it is. 14, 15. And then it's real easy to write down what you planted in that spot. Look at that big old weed. Oh yeah. That's a nasty weed there. We brought in pea gravel in the middle, so it's easy to, easy to freaking get rid of weeds as they grow. You just move the rocks out of the way, pull them out. But then, we were having trouble with rotten boards. So I put, this is roof tar paper, all the way up. And then I bent aluminum to cap the top of the board. It's working out great. Keeps the weather off the boards, you know. Absolutely amazing. But yeah, guys, feel free to comment. Go back through my videos. I'm still learning too, guys. You know, like I said, eight, nine years we've had this garden. And every year I learn something new. And it's usually from the people I subscribe to. We're in, we're in for a ride. I get it. And when I say at the end of the video, at the end of every video, I re religiously say, I'm praying for you, I'm praying for the world. I'm serious, guys. I am. I am praying for everybody. All right, Tuesday morning. Thanks again, guys. That's that's awesome. You know, it's one thing to come by and check out my video. It's another thing to subscribe, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's show you this one. Oh yeah, we got we got some corn popping. Nice. Look at this. This is a, it's it, it's a carrot. It's a carrot from last year. We missed them. So kind of like a volunteer. This thing is gonna get ready to go to seed. We're gonna have we're gonna have thousands of carrot seeds. Thousands. How cool is that? That's so cool. Um I try to use nothing but heirloom seeds. The leaves curling. I wonder why that's curling. Once again, man, I'm learning. Um, we use heirloom seeds so we can keep our seeds restocked. I bought variety packs. I think there's like, I want to say there's 30 different heirloom seeds in a pack. I bought eight packs. I got heirloom seeds for the rest of my life. Inside the pack, it tells you how to how to save the seeds at the end of the season. You know, corn's real easy. You just leave a couple couple ears on the stalk. Come December, January, it's dried out. You just take that ear off, and it's. There's seeds ready to plant. You guys can do this, man. And for those of you that said you started too late, it's never too late. Never too late. 
with what's going on right now. This is all this is all planned, guys. It's it's all a plan and it's working. Their plan is working. So yeah, it's never too late. Don't ever give up. Don't ever stop. You know, I'm still picking up stuff for my storage. All right. You guys have a great Tuesday. Thank you again. Praying for you. Praying for the world. Peace.